Now, it's summertime, apparently. Oh, you wouldn't think with the weather outside, Indeed. would you? We're always looking for something light in the kitchen during the summer. And we're up today. Ed Raythorn from Sandyford House in Dublin joins us. Your debut appearance, Ed. You're very no, welcome. Good morning, Ed. You're very You're welcome. Very Thank welcome. you very much. Thank you. Uh, no you're pressure, doing a lovely <laughs> summery, salady type thing today with sea Yeah, bass. just something really light for, obviously, for uh, the time of year it is, just to kind of freshen up healthy option kind of dish. It's kind of long calories and... Lovely no fish. We're going with sea bass. Nice. Now, it's not a fish I cook regularly, Thomas. No, me either. Tell so. us about the old sea bass. An oily it's, fish? It's not an oily fish, no. But it has been... Uh, it's been found that it has the same benefits as an oily fish. Okay. Um, it's widely, widely available. Okay. It's, it's, it's a little bit more pricey than your normal salmon okay. or cod. But, so uh, how do we prep it, Ed? So what I've done is, it's just a sea bass fillet. Um, and what I normally do with them is I just kind of portion them up and then just score the skin. Yeah. And this just stops when I'm frying it from the ends curling up, you know? Yeah, keeps right. the fish nice and flat. Yeah, and Does it has... to be room temperature, your fish? No, no, no. no. You can take try, it out of the fridge? Try to keep your fish as, as cool as possible at gotcha. all times. Very nice, and then? Um, so that's what we have there, so... With sea bass and any kind of, of the other... kind of fishes, and really, really hot pan is what you need, so... You get the fillets from the fish bone grill, just, just ask, sir. Yeah, well, it, it, I, I get mine pin bone and scaled, it's called, and yeah. what that does is it just takes out all that takes mess all the hassle. with yeah, tweezers yeah. and... Yeah. And the lads and the fish mongers are happy to do all that. Well, they, they will do it. Like, yeah, yeah, of course they, they will. They're, they're trying to sell the product, so they'll do whatever you so ask them to do. that's screaming hot. The idea is to get this as hot as possible. These are, right. uh, with the inductions, they're... Uh, they can be temperamental, Ed. <laughs> <Yeah. which are laughs> tricky. Yeah, it's, there's no panic, it's only live television. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. On my first day as well. So. Exactly, yeah, yeah. We're going to make it easy for you. Give you an easy cooker. So what I'm going to do is, well, that's heating up. So I'll take this out, right? OK. So that's that done. So you're going to prep the salad, is it? Yeah, so the salad is... Basically, it's just uh, some chorizo, smoked Cuban chorizo. Uh, it's a really, really good product. Oh, There's a pan now. It's all about the ingredients, isn't it? Get, That's it, and it's about... This dish can be done really quick, you know. Um, you get in from work and you're hungry, you want something fast. Chorizo is a winner, yeah. So our pan is screaming hot there. Right, so what I have here that. is some gold leaf, gold river leaf uh, and some watercress. Nice. Okay. And into that, we have some baby leeks. Nice. Or spring onions, whatever you can get. One of my favourite things in the world. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, cherry yeah, tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, whatever you like to use. Yeah. Cherry tomatoes are nice and fresh, I find. Lovely. I have a little bit of dill, fresh chopped dill. Dill. Dill and fish. Dill Great and pals. Fish. They are, yeah. yeah, they go really, really well together. And then we're just going to... What's this fennel now you have? This is fennel, oh, and it's a fennel. mandolin. Right. So what I'm looking to do is just get little kind of wafer thin little slices. Fennel has a kind of a strong flavour, isn't it? It has a kind of an aniseedy flavour. And it goes really well with dill, and it goes really well with fish oil. This is a, a handy yolk here. That's yeah, a mango. It actually Tommy. says, it actually says, hey, watch your fingers. Your fingers don't yeah, yeah. don't air it, Tommy, <laughs> please. <laughs> Come yeah. on, let's cook some fish, <laughs> Tommy. Don't be worried about your fingers. So, watch your fingers. Okay. Right, so fish in, and Fish in. <laughs> so, skin soy down first. Okay. Because. And do you need to hold it down, Ed? Yeah. I just want to... Yeah, that's right. That's perfect. Won't you hear that's kind of sizzle? Won't you hear the sizzle? There's a bit more oil in there. The pan is not really... So I'm using Donegal rapeseed oil. It's probably... Ah, ah you, had to, you had to mention Donegal. <laughs> with the Donegal rolls standing here beside me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have one plug for Donegal on every show. Yeah. <laughs> so, I two fillets in there. Skin side now. And these only take... probably two minutes on one side. Just okay. a little shaker. Just give it a seasoning. Nice. So just a little bit of pepper, no salt. Just salt, Ed. yeah, a little bit, bit of salt. Just a small bit of salt. And you won't Not have to too much because the chorizo has a lot of salt in it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. want to overpower it. Okay. So with our salad, we back to our salad while we're waiting for that there. Yeah, you can see nice. that's coming along. You nicely. won't have to flip those, Ed, will you? What I'll do is when, when I you can see the, the, the nice golden colour on the side, I'll just flip them and let them rest on the tray and it'll finish off cooking too. Because they're so thin, the fillets. Oh, but just getting it right with the fish, isn't it? If it goes over, they can just be a little bit dry, you know? So I've just put a little bit of oil in there. Yeah. Nice. I have a little zester here. Just a nice fresh salad. So a little bit of a small bit of lemon zest. Just freshens it all up again. The smell already. Yeah, yeah. it smells good. Yeah, it's just really good. The salad looks amazing. Yeah. What I'll do now? And well. the fact that Teresa's is going to be playing a ah, part as well. Come Chirice. on, man. Teresa, what uh, gets that's in there? What yeah. lifts this whole whole dish? It's a brilliant ingredient. So I'm going to just put a little bit of lemon juice in there. Lemon juice. Nice. Lovely. Okay. Now we're back to our fish. And you can see we're getting a nice oh, colour on that there now. Beautiful, Ed, beautiful. Good. 
So I'll just give that another second. So you reckon, about, what, what was that, 90 seconds all in? About 90 seconds to two minutes, roughly, depending yeah. on the thickness of your fillets. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'll, what I'll do is I know I'm just flipped, I'm just mm. got a little tiny bit of colour on them, and then I'll let them rest, and then I'll okay. do all the rest of the stuff. That's the that skill, though, is getting it right, because I get distracted and do something else, and suddenly I get yeah, a bit of sea bass. <laughs> the thing about sea bass, if you do get distracted, like if you go over, with the oily fish, you'll get away a little bit more. You will, yeah, yeah, yeah. have that moisture. Yeah, yeah. With the, you with can the, take it a bit, can't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Right, we're down to the, the last minute, Ed. Right, oh, put it all hey. together. So, so that's going to rest. That's going to rest there. Done. And I see you have uh, spuds. Are we serving spuds with we're the salad? No. Some chorizo and some baby potatoes. I've oh, just cooked them with a little yeah, bit of uh, mint. Yeah. So you just boil the potatoes as normal with a bit of mint just in there. Just a bit of mint in them, yeah. And then chop them up. That was an interesting touch for Sai in that this morning. Mint in the water. It just infuses it through it, yeah. But see, it's all about, Clever. these lands are all about layers and layers of flavour. Just a yeah. little, little touches like that, yeah. mint in the water. That's what it is. It's uh, just trying to get a balance of, of what you're looking for, you know? Okay, we've got 30 seconds left. Okay, so would you like a bowl? Oh, you wouldn't like to see Tommy when he's hungry yet. It's, it's, he's a different kettle of fish. Yeah. <laughs> see what I did there? Kettle of... Doesn't no, matter. Don't get it. Comedy gold. <laughs> very Tommy's good, very good. Good. What time is it? I don't even know what day it is. Okay, I have a small bit of yuzo here, which is just like a Japanese... Oh, that's that goes in the there. What's that? Yuzo. What's that? Yuzo. It's a. Uh, it's like a. Uh, Lemon curd, is it? it? No, it's it's actual. It's a fruit. So I'm gonna pull that off. That's ready there now. If you can't get yuzo. Lemon. Lemon. Lemon so juice. Just, lemon juice, perfect. So just sprinkle a little bit of this over. Nice. And was that yogurt or natural yogurt you had there? So you were mixing. This it in? is creme fraiche. Creme fraiche. So we just put a. Shreed some some egg balls out, and then we're gonna have our fish on top. And then we just put the fish on top. I'll tell you what. It looks. Look at that. Ah, doesn't... Yeah, but you've got, do you know what you've got in there? You've got textures, you've got layers of flavour. But do you know what we call this, and I love it on this show, is simple fancy. Simple, simple fancy? So it's simple, that's it. but that's it's it. fancy, so if you put so it down you, in front you, you of somebody... You can describe us as simple fancy. <laughs> so which will be which? Yes, text in now. Which one is simple, <laughs> which one is fancy? And Ed, that finished. looks amazing. That a little bit lovely. of fresh gel on top. Beautiful. Marvellous. Good job, good job, job, my friend. Job. Thomas. We've had a fork, we taste it. Well, this is the thing, we're allowed to look at it. It looks amazing. <laughs> Looks amazing. Looks lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> no, uh, we have a fork. We have a fork. Oh, do you want to say that? Ed's first time. Not. I know we're going way you over. You eat, I'll read. Uh, after yeah. the break, we'll be hearing how the story of one man's near-death experience mm. changed his life. We've seen a few minutes. Tuck in, son. Absolutely. Tuck in. Beautiful. Such lovely. Amazing.